Hi, this is Paul. I want to give you my opinion about the debate. I wasn't originally going to watch it because I'm like, at this point, I'm just just fed up with politics. I really am. But against my better judgment, I watched a couple of segments of it. And the truth is, we're effed. And we really are effed with this, in this country. On one hand, you got Donald Trump, a total con man, a total liar, who's only running for president to stay out of jail, okay? He should be nowhere near the White House, okay? He should even be allowed on a walking tour of the White House. That's how dangerous and completely un, unprepared, un, not unprepared, totally, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? He should never, he should never be anywhere near the White House, okay? That's just plain and simple. He lied continuously. And then on the other hand, you have Joe Biden, who I believe in his heart of hearts is a good man, but he shouldn't have run. And I mentioned this on my channel plenty of times. He should not have run for re-election. Okay, he should not. Okay, I'm sorry, Joe, you, you served this country well for over 50 years in Congress and the Senate and as vice president and as president, but you did not, you should have not run again. Okay, you're 81 years old. Okay, nothing wrong with your age. People get old. That's what happens. Okay, and let's face it. He, he, he was struggling on stage. Okay, I know he had a cold and stuff, but he was, you could tell he was struggling to remember his points, his talking points and stuff. And Trump was basically getting away with all these incredibly li incredible lies that if I, I think if a sharper, younger man was on stage, they could have called him out on all of the lies that Trump was telling. But Joe Biden is... I'm sorry, he's 81 years old. And I know that they say, oh, that's you know, saying ageism. Yeah, some 81 years old are sharp as a tack. But Joe Biden is not one of them, okay? I'm sorry, he's just not. He is a good man. I do truly in my heart of heart believe that he's a good man. But it's time for you to set your ego aside, Joe, okay? And let somebody younger get in there and run, okay? Now, whether you're going to give that up or not, I don't know. Because, again, I think he's stubborn. And I think his tight circle of friends are stubborn. And that's why all these people, everybody on the Democratic side was panicking and making calls and saying, listen, this is a disaster that we got to get them out. And the good thing is that it's before the convention, which is in August. So you have time. And like I was telling my friend at work, somebody needs, they need to sit him down, him, Joe Biden, sit him down with his wife. Okay. Sit him in a room. Okay. Let it be Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, even uh, get a... Uh, Kamala Harris in there, and you have to tell him, Joe, thank you for your service, but Joe, we cannot, this this this, this presidential election is, is too important. We cannot take a chance with Donald Trump beating you because people will perceive you as old and independent. You're going to turn off independence, and they're going to say, no, I can't, we can't have him in the way. They may, and they may not want to vote for Trump. They may just stay home, which is even worse. And you know Trump supporters are going to come out, okay, which makes it even worse. So that's why I think they need to sit him down in a room and tell him, Joe, thank you for your service, and we thank you for beating Trump the first time, but we need to get younger. The Democratic Party, that's the problem. These politicians do not want to step aside. They want to stay in there forever, okay? They don't, they don't want to step aside and make room for the younger generation. They're just, okay, and again, like I said, they need to, I saw the speech he did, uh, the day after in North Carolina where he was like fiery, but even him trying to be fiery, he was more lively and stuff. He was speaking off the cuff, but you could, you could just, t even that Joe, I'm sorry. Okay. You need to step aside. Okay. And let somebody younger run for president. Cause I definitely think somebody younger, if Gavin Newsom, for instance, was up there on that stage with Donald Trump, he would have called him out on all of his lies. Now they interviewed Don, uh, Gavin Newsom afterwards, and he was saying that no, we shouldn't switch play. You know, but he's he's just being a politician. He can't come. He can't outright come out and say, yeah, we should replace Joe. He he looked pretty bad. He can't say that because it it looked like he's it would look like he's stamping on the, Joe's grave. But I think, and again, Jamie Harrison. I think that's the, the the chairman of the DNC. Him again, Obama. Get his wife in the room. Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi. They need to get him in a room. And sit him in Kamala Harris, sit him down in a room and say, Joe, okay, thank you for beating Trump the first time, but this race is too important to leave it to chance, okay? We cannot afford to lose this election because that next president may be 
appointing a couple of Supreme Court justices, and we cannot have Trump be the one to do that. Okay, you think the court is bad now? Can you imagine if Trump is in there again and he's he's able to appoint two more Supreme Court justices? It'd be a nightmare. Okay, so Joe, you have to, and I'm pleading with you, but like I said, I know he's stubborn. He's stubborn to all hell, and and but I think somebody has to have a have that conversation with him have that hard conversation with him and then give him a week or two weeks to think about it, okay? And then come back to him and say, Joe, listen, we're serious about this, okay? There's going to be a floor fight, okay, in August. It's going to be a bloodbath for Joe, okay? For the good of the country, you need to go out and make, go, go to the podium and tell, listen, you know, I love serving this country and I love being president, but I just need to, I'm, I have to step aside for the good of the country, and uh, I'm throwing all my weight to this person, whoever it's going to be. I think, personally, it should be Gavin Newsom, because I think Gavin Newsom has charisma. He's younger. He has energy. He knows all the facts. He killed Ron DeSantis in the debate they had, okay? And he and he knows all the, the talking points. He's a great politician. I think you get him, and you get a... And now, the Kamala Harris part of it is, I think, a little bit more trickier. You may have to make a deal with her and tell her, listen, step aside with Joe steps aside and and we'll throw our weight on you so you can run for the Senate again. Okay, I think they're going to have to make a deal with her because you can't, because normally I think you would go to the vice president and have the vice president run, but Kamala Harris's numbers are worse than Joe Biden's numbers. So you can't, you can't pick her. But then again, you don't want to piss off a bunch of black women and stuff and black people saying, oh, you're replacing... A black woman with a white, you know, so you're going to have to make a deal and have Kamala Harris. That's why I say when Joe steps down, you got to have Kamala Harris there, too, and say, I'm stepping down as well. And we feel with these two new, two young people here that will, um, that will get, the, can, you know, keep the White House. And we're going to throw all our efforts to beat defeating, the saving democracy and, and defeating Donald Trump. And I think that's what they have to do. They're going to have to, they're going to have to do that. I say, get Gavin Newsom. I was there's a point of me that was saying get Gavin Newsom and then keep Kamala Harris as the vice president. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe they could do it that way. Uh, just keep Kamala Harris as the vice president, and and just let uh, Gavin Newsom. I, again, I think Gavin Newsom would be best, but I, I still because you may not be able to replace Kamala Harris because he's the vice president. And I think there'd be too much hell going on if you replace her. So I think you just if he could put Gavin Newsom to replace Joe Biden. Now the people are talking about him or maybe uh uh the governor of Michigan, uh Whit Whitner, I think that's her name, I forgot her name. There's another uh governor uh, I think of North Dakota, Andy Bashir or something. They think he's another rising star, but all these people are younger than Joe Biden and they have energy and they could kill Donald Trump on a debate stage. Donald Trump all he did was lie, lie, and lie some more. Okay, and Joe Biden could not, because first of all, CNN didn't fact check him. And then plus, Joe Biden was not able to to bat down all his lies. Okay, he should have been batting down those lies left and right. He said, this guy is a lie. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. Okay, you can't believe anything he tells you. Everything he tells, he's told over 30,000 lies when he was in a White House the first time. Okay, you can't give this guy a chance to tell him on this stage right now. He's telling lies, okay? That's all he does is lie. He's a liar. He's a con man. He's a convict. He's been convicted of sexual assault. He's been convicted of business fraud. 34 count. He's guilty. He's getting ready to get sentenced. He's a criminal. This guy should no, be nowhere near the White House, okay? That's how you should be on that stage, Joe, saying that. But you can't say that because of your age, okay? You're, okay, I'm sorry, Joe. They need to sit you down and have that hard conversation. And I, and I really mean that. They need to sit down and have you that. If you're going to be stubborn about it, Joe, I, I would tell them, listen, Joe, you're going to be stubborn about it? Okay, then we're going to have a convention fight, okay, and come August, okay? Okay, because we'll go to all those delegates you got, okay, and we'll tell them. We're going to put up this person to take your place, and we're going to have a floor fight, okay? We're, it's going to get ugly, Joe. You don't want to do this for the country. So think about the country, Joe, and stop thinking about your ego, okay? It's time for you to step aside, okay? Run out the rest of your presidency, but you got to step aside. We need to defeat Donald Trump at all costs. We cannot let him be president again at all costs. And you got to stop thinking about yourself and your ego, okay? 
You got to think about the, country, the good of the country. Okay, that's what you got to think about. Okay, and step to the side. We have enough time now. If you step to the side, put your full weight behind this, the guy who's going to replace you, which I think should be, in this case, I think it should be Gavin Newsom. Okay, I think you have to. And and I again, I guarantee you, Gavin Newsom will wipe the floor. And then if you do that, by the time they have that next debate in September, I guarantee you, Gavin Newsom will wipe the floor with Donald Trump. Donald Trump will not be able to get up any lies. Gavin, Gavin Newsom will clean Donald Trump's clock. Okay, he will go on the stuff. He'll be able to campaign. Like they won't be able to. They won't be hiding him like they're hiding Joe Biden right now. That he can't. You know, he's sure he's going on these fundraising things, but you need somebody young and energetic to get out there and shake hands and kiss babies. Okay, and say what you know what this country is all about. And I think Gavin Newsom is the person for it. That's just my personal choice for it. Okay, and I think he's the one to do it. And I think Joe has to come to that realization. You're gonna have to tell him. Okay, you got to sit him down. That's why I said they're gonna have to come, have to have a come to Jesus meeting with him, and sit him down in the room and tell him, Joe, you have to step aside. Okay, Joe, and if you don't want to do it, okay, if you're gonna fight us on this, come August and come to, when the convention comes around, okay, there's gonna be a floor fight. Okay, there's gonna be a floor fight. Okay, Joe, okay, you don't want to do this. Okay, because it's gonna make you. Uh, we want to thank you for your service, but it's gonna look bad for the country if we're gonna to have to forcibly make you resign okay make you uh fight for fight for those delegates in august okay don't do it joe okay for the good of the country come out there make the speech and endorse whoever's going to replace you in this case which i think should be gavin newsom okay and say you're going to throw your full weight behind him and the, the most important thing is to defeat donald trump okay and the republicans and the maga movement we have to defeat them okay and i think it's best for the country that i step aside and let Gavin Newsom pick up the mantle. Okay, time to pass the baton to him and let him uh, kick Trump's ass. Okay, and I think that's the way to do it. Okay, again, my opinion. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, the debate and do, what you, do you think George Biden should be replaced? I think he should. I, I mean, I, again, I thought, again, I thought he just had to be decent, but he he's just, it's, he's not up for it. I'm sorry. He's just, he's an old, he's 81 years old, okay? And he's just not, I know some 81 years old, old guys are spry and they can move about, got all their faculties. Joe Biden is not one of them. That's why, he, again, you don't see him making too many speeches and stuff. They are hiding him. That's the reality of it. And you don't want a situation like what happened to Diane Feinstein, where she doesn't know where she is. And they're wheeling her around in a wheelchair, okay? And she doesn't know where she is. And just, okay, what they did to her that was elder abuse, okay? So come on, Joe, step to the side, please. Okay, we need somebody, a fighter to get out there and, and slap Trump's and all his lies, and all his allies' lies, okay? Again, please. Okay, anyway, let me know what you think of my uh, uh, this video, what you think of it. Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Paul. Oh, excuse me. I have a link down below to my main channel, Trey Passer, in the description box as well. I also have a link down below to my patron. Again, my patron's only $5 a month. Tons of content on there. Tons of unedited content on there. I got everything from uh, movies, Marvel shows, DC shows, got Gen V, The Boys, Fallout, X-Men 97, uh, My Adventure with Superman Season 2, over 173 videos. Follow the link down below. I'm going to be working on my uh, Patreon page to try to improve it. So look, keep look out, look out for that. Also, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps the channel, and I truly appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I upload new content to this channel. And this is Paul saying so long, and take care.